years ago when she was 10 years old. Part of this new generation of ninjas that grew up on this sport. They are so good. I love it because she is so smiling and sweet off the course, but you see the focus that makes her such a good ninja. And she is sweet. And with her time, she's guaranteed a spot in the top 30, but you know she wants a buzzer. I was watching this at home screaming crazy when this was happening. Welcome back to Houston Live. You might recognize this competitor from Monday night's episode of NBC's American Ninja Warrior. Isabella Wakeham, she is no stranger to the competition. The Cypress native was the top woman in both her qualifying and semifinal competitions last season. And now she has advanced to the semifinals. She is joining us today to talk about her incredible run. Welcome back to Houston Life. It's so good to see you. And man, it just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good to be back to be talking to you guys again. Well, it's great to have you here. And I have to tell you, I mean, I'm still completely amazed when we see you all on the course. That is the first time that y'all are running. You don't ever, you, you don't get a run through. Yeah, so a lot of people see see us run the course and think we get to practice it, but we don't. So what you guys are seeing is our first time on those obstacles. We have no idea how it's gonna feel or what it's gonna be like. You are like a fish in water, and to refresh our viewers' memories, at 10 years old, that's really when you started be becoming a ninja, or ninja-ing, if that's <laughs> a word. Uh, you said as a child you always loved climbing on things, and when you're running this court, of course, you seem like you're very much in your element. Yeah, so I've done ninja since I was 10. As soon as I was born, I just, like, loved climbing on anything and everything and so once I found the sport of ninja I just fell in love with it and kind of just have been in my element and of course there are days where there's an obstacle you can't get something's hard and so I can't pretend that it's all easy but I love every moment of it. The incredible upper body strength, the con the concentration, the crowd screaming, your family's there, you're on top of a body of water. It's all the things, the adrenaline. Um, and we have to remind people how young you are because you were instrumental in getting the competition age lowered to 15. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, of course. So. Um, there are other leagues outside of the show, so we compete almost year round. And so most of those leagues had an 18 and up rule for um, kids competing adult. You couldn't compete at the pro level till you were older. Um, but me and some of the other teens started competing on that pro level, and the show took notice, and so they lowered their age limit and allowed us to start competing at 15. It's a good thing they did. And you're 18 years old now, right? You yep. just graduated high school. Big news for what's next? Yeah, so I'm going to A&M in the fall. Pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, still training Ninja. That's what my life's going to look like for the next couple of years. And listen, let's talk about your graduation day. Where were you? Did you walk? <laughs> so <laughs> on <laughs> the day of my graduation, we were actually filming for American Ninja Warrior. So instead of walking across the stage, of my graduation, I walked across the stage to run a course. That is pretty awesome. But you now. still had the cap and gown. Yeah, absolutely. Of it course. all worked out. Hey, let's <laughs> talk about your family a little bit. That's mom over there, right there, right behind the scenes. Hi, mom. And this brother. is brother Isaiah <laughs> on the television right now. So Isaiah, he's now 21, so he's a few years older than you are, and he's really been a huge driving force in your life. Absolutely. So training with my brother, competing with my brother has been influential in the kind of athlete I've become because instead of training with people on my level, I've always trained at his level and I've tried to elevate my competition and my training to him and to other 21 year olds and other adults. And so ever since I've been a kid, he's welcomed me and included me. Um, and you saw in the qualifying episode after I fell, um, he jumped in the water to come over and hug me. And I think that just speaks to the kind of brother he is. It doesn't matter if he gets wet as long as he's celebrating me and that just always means the world to me. And I know that whether I fall or win, he's there. Oh, it's so awesome. What a great testament to your parents as well because uh, they instilled those values into both of you, which I think is great. Your mom is here in studio behind the camera. <laughs> um, let's talk about your dad because you guys like to watch F1, Formula yes. One racing. Was this a pandemic thing or were you always into it? Because I fell into it during the pandemic. Okay, so maybe a little bit before the pandemic. Okay. So there was a TV show on Netflix about Formula yes, One. Yes, girl, so it is so good. Have you seen Okay. Yes. So That's where good. I got sucked in. Right. Okay, so what pulled me into that is you get to see the kind of athletes they are, not just them in the car, but they're kind of behind the scenes, the way they train, their hand-eye coordination, their reaction time. And I love that as an athlete because some of their like drills that they do, I've been like, oh, that could help me be a better athlete. And they drive cars. I'm on a course. It's totally different, but we can do a lot of the same things 
to become better at our sports. That's and here I was wondering if you were passionate about anything more than being <laughs> in your, your eyes light up I like this, this morning. Um, okay, so a lot of people might be wondering, what are you majoring in in college and what are your plans post-college? Because you're, I'm guessing, planning on being a lifelong ninja. Is that right? That's the goal. I mean, so with sports, you always have to account for injury or for burnout. And, you know, knowing that it's not a forever thing, Right now, I love Ninja with my whole heart, and I can't imagine anything else. Um, so I'm studying kinesiology at Texas A&M to keep me kind of in the sport world. I've struggled a lot with some injuries in my Ninja career, and so I want to use my kinesiology degree to maybe do some research in that field, kind of discover what we can do for ninjas to prevent injury and to make sure it's a safe sport because, you know, I'm part of the new generation of people that started as kids, and I want to learn how we can make our bodies last full term so that I can do it forever. It's so great wow. and it's so such great exercise and also the recovery part I think is really important too and it's something you can carry on for a long time. It's Absolutely. fantastic. Okay, we're looking forward to seeing you the next round sometime in July, sometime right? Sometime in July. Okay. One last gun show before you go. <laughs> yeah. Check Ninja like out. a girl, everybody. <laughs> Isabella Wakeham, <laughs> thanks so much for stopping by Houston Life. Thank yes, you. Yes, congrats. It is so much fun watching you on the telly. And you all can catch American Ninja Warrior Mondays at 7 p.m. right here on KPRC2. As we mentioned, the semifinals start later next month.